Hey YouTube, what's up? Today I'm going to be reviewing the Apple iPad Smart Cover. This is the orange one, if you can't tell by the color. This one I actually received from Amazon a couple days ago. Uh, when I looked at it, I noticed it didn't appear to be exactly like the ones that I've had previously. Um, since then, I've gone ahead and ordered one from the Apple Store, which you can see right here, side by side. Today I'm going to be explaining some of the differences. One of the first that you might notice right away is the coloring. The one from Amazon is slightly darker than the one from the Amazon store. So let's go ahead and compare these, see which one's the fake, which one's the real one, and why they are. Um, right off the bat, as I mentioned, the color. If you look closely at the packaging, you can see the counterfeit one does have a pretty bad job going around. Um, doesn't look like they did too good of a job gluing it. And even put a pull tab to look like it was on store shelves. Uh, where the one from Apple is pretty clean, pretty straight cut, uh, square edges, pretty good. Now if we go ahead and turn them around, this is where you see one of the differences right away. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. Okay, on the real one, you can see we have the Apple logo up at the top, iPad smart cover, um, kind of hard to tell the resolution on it, but the coloring on the back, very vivid, looks great, and the pull tab, still sealed. I have not opened this one yet. And then at the bottom, we have all the specs. Now on the fake, we have no specs whatsoever on the product. If you look down here at the pull tab, they didn't even take the adhesive off to go ahead and peel it back. Pretty funny. And the DPI on the printing is a little less than the one on the other box. Kind of hard to tell from this video, but trust me it is. Uh, if you look up here on the normal one, iPad smart cover over on the counterfeit, four iPad smart cover, which isn't even grammatically correct. and on the word for they actually use the little foil embossing for that which is similar to what's done on the Apple so side by side zoom in here get a focus there we go pretty clear difference so now let's open them up bear with me one moment So here we have the fake, which is funny because when I did order it, he said it was brand new. Obviously not. We have some wear around the edges. And then back. Looks pretty good for a fake. Have to admit, good work. But if you did not own one, it would probably be pretty hard to really tell the difference on it. Um, right away, looking at it, Let's go ahead and look at the packaging. We just have a plain plastic. We have this sheet right here, which was actually pressed down. The cover was over it, which, if I recall correctly, on the iPad covers, it's below it. We'll find out in a second here. So, cheap. Throw that to the side. Here's the fake case. Now let's go ahead and open up the real one. Here's the real one right here, still in the plastic, Let's pull that out, there we go, still, again, looks similar, put that to the side, we don't really need that, and let's go ahead and check them out side by side. As you can see right away, the, there's some texture differences on it. Apple smooth. This one looks kind of rough. Looks like some stress lines going up. Uh, we also have that right down here. This is actually raised a lot more than on the Apple. It's kind of subtle on this one. Raised pretty good. Um, I've tested the fake one. It does have a magnet, which I was actually surprised about. I didn't think it was going to actually have one. But uh, right away, when I put it on my iPad, one of the big noticeable differences was, let me put these on top of each other, 
maybe you can see a little better, is on the Apple one, we have a brushed metal, which is similar to the back of the iPad 2. So it matches perfectly with it. Now if we look on the fake one, focus in there, it's just regular crappy steel. Or aluminum in this case. The, the Where the magnet is, it appears they put a little piece of tape of some sort over the magnet to copy it. Again, if you're not familiar with it, could be kind of hard to tell. Or if you look at apples, really clean, as you can see right here. Going down at the numbers, Apple has, well, it does look like it's going to zoom in there. But trust me, the numbers are written real clearly over on this one. Not so clear, actually some of them are smudging off. Now let's look at the back. All right, the back look pretty much the same. Again, kind of hard to tell. If you can't see right there, the wording is much bolder on the fake one. I have the fake one right here. This is the Apple one right here. Um, the material feels a lot softer on the Apple one. This one's more coarse. It doesn't feel like it would touch your screen, but, um, and again, not really much of a noticeable difference. Now, if we look into the lettering, which they did a pretty good job of. Uh, right here, lettering's kind of off. This is the fake. And it's actually just stamped on there. Looks like it was just printed right on top. So, kind of a crappy job. Now, if we go over and look at apples, here's apples right here. Now, theirs isn't stamped. It's actually embossed right into it. So, there's no way we can actually take it off. Whereas this one, we could probably scratch it off with our fingernail. Um, those are some of the noticeable difference differences. Uh, I don't have my iPad with me right now, but uh, let me see if I can line these up here. When I did put the fake one on my iPad, I did notice that the dimensions were slightly off. So again, the fake one's on the top. We have them pretty much lined up right here. Now if we go down to the bottom, uh, as you can see, the fake one does overhang a little bit. It doesn't look like it's much of a difference, but you can tell when it's on the iPad. It's enough to annoy you and get in the way. Um, actually, this right here, this looks like a good shot. You can actually tell the material differences where the Apple one looks more fine. This one's more coarse. Um, again, that's pretty much all I wanted to say on this. Just note to your guys' cells. Be careful what you buy out there. There's a lot of fakes. When I bought this one, it was advertised as an official, like new, or brand new, actually. Uh, again, if I didn't own one, I probably wouldn't know the difference. So, again, guys, be careful. Hope this helped. Enjoy. Thanks a lot for watching.